why is it so hard to put two and two together? Why is it so hard for y'all to see what's right in front of y'all faces? You say that religion is a tool that was created to control people, right? But the ancient Egyptians that y'all worship had religion. You say that the white man used religion to, uh, to get us to worship the white man, particularly the white Jesus, right? You say that that was used by them to get us to worship the white man. But ancient Egyptians, who y'all worship, actually had in their religion, literally in their religion, that their leaders were gods, which meant that they required worship. Now, y'all know that the, uh, the Romans did the same thing with the Caesars. You had to bow down to Caesar. Caesar is Lord, you know, that kind of thing. And y'all would point, probably point out how ridiculous that is and how manipulative that is. Um, especially with how we how people are feeling about the government in this day and age in America and what they're doing to us and the control that they're trying to take or you know, that they have and all that sort of stuff. But the ancient Egyptians who y'all seem to think was the, the, the pinnacle of civilization, they did the same exact thing. And even worse because it's literally in their scriptures. So if you really have a, 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 an issue with religion calling for the worship of a man or worship of leaders or your oppressors or whatever, why do you boast about ancient Egypt so much when they did the very things that you claim to be hostile to? Where do you think the pharaohs got all of their wealth from? Is this, oh, okay, you're a king, they didn't have taxes back then. Where do you think that they got all that wealth from? All those jewels, all that stuff that they were buried with. Who do you, where and who do you think they got that stuff from? the average everyday man see another thing that's right in front of y'all face and this is y'all don't see this because you don't research has there ever been a tomb found of a non-pharaoh of a non-wealthy noble person or scribe who wrote their scriptures by the way has there ever been a tomb found of the average everyday quilter or whatever in egypt no the only tombs that's ever been found are, are, are very wealthy people because the average man didn't, couldn't afford that kind of burial. The average man didn't have that kind of money to, uh, to pay for the Book of the Dead because the Book of the Dead or the Book of the Coming Forth, however way you want to say it, that was put in their tombs to, as a book of spells to help them in the afterlife. Now, y'all talk about how Eternal punishment in hell was created to manipulate people into living in a certain way. But ancient Egyptians, they taught the same thing that if you didn't live a certain way, you don't make it to the afterlife. You got the big monster guy, the alligator looking thing that would chew up your heart and you won't make it to the afterlife. So... Why can't y'all see what's right in front of y'all? Ancient Egypt, ancient Egypt, the very thing that y'all brag about is the pinnacle. It's the most extreme example of all of the things that you protest about in regards to government and oppression and religion and manipulation. Yeah, it, it, it's, this is ridiculous. I mean, y'all are truly blind. Y'all are truly blind. The other thing is, has anyone along with the line of the everyday farmer. You will never find a tomb of a farmer or whatever else little mundane job that they have had in Egypt. You will only find tombs of very of the pharaohs or very wealthy people like the scribes who worked for the pharaohs, who wrote the religion, the pastors, the priests. You will not find in Egyptian scripture anyone being considered a god except for those leaders. But y'all talk about every every kings and queens. We descended from kings and queens, my black kings. We're not, we're not niggas. I understand that. You don't want to you, you want to have some kind of self-worth or or you know, that kind of thing. But all of y'all or all of us, I should say, we didn't we didn't descend from kings and queens. If everybody's a king and a queen, who's the subjects? See, kings and queens was based on your bloodline, either that or military might. 
And unless you can trace your bloodline back to a pharaoh, you a scrub, dog. You ain't no king. You ain't no queen. You the average everyday chump that the kings and the queens lorded over when they took the most beautiful of the daughters. They took them and, and added them to the harem and, their, and made them concubines. When they took the wealth of the people and stored them up in, in the tombs for themselves. You're the average day guy who was being, uh, who was ruled with an iron fist. Just like we are today. Probably even worse than what we are today. Because at least today they try to hide it. They, they, they don't do a good job, but they try to hide it. There's nothing in Egyptian scripture whatsoever that implies that every single person is a god. Any scholar that you, any serious scholar, <coughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today. <coughs> Any serious scholar will tell you that, yeah, the pharaohs were thought as gods. And then you can look, they're named after, if you study the, the line of the pharaohs and the Egyptian leaders, and you look at the gods, they were named after, the gods were named after the people. The people were thought that the, uh, the pharaohs and the rulers were thought to be physical reputations of God. And as such, not only did they deserve worship, they had absolute authority. Hmm. You know, talk, tell me again how the Catholic Church... Uh, how they were so bad because of their their or or the church in general how the black church tries to control people and uh how religion is so bad but you worship the people that did it the best they were the masters at it because th as you can see these people not only did they hoard the wealth of the people during their lifetime they even they didn't even disperse it when they died they, they buried it with them that is terrible talk about not leaving your kids something oh i'm sorry except for the position to rule over the people with the iron iron fist like talk about not doing something for your people they bury all of that wealth with them instead of spreading it out like when i die i'm gonna spread this out and the whole community can grow they buried it with them that is why can't y'all see what's right in front of y'all y'all are just jaded y'all y'all brainwashed and thinking that Egypt is this wonderful place. But think about it. When you you will never ever 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 find a gravesite of the average Joe Egyptian. And if you did, you won't find one. But if you did, it won't say nothing about him being no God. It won't say nothing about him being no God. That was for the pharaohs. So all the stuff that y'all complain about here in America but all of a sudden y'all complain about regards to religion. The ancestors were so great and awesome, they did all of that stuff. And y'all people don't even see it, it's right in front of y'all. Why can't you put two and two together?